Now, will everyone please rise for the academic procession?
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing and welcome Cal State LA student Valerie Espinosa, who will perform our national anthem accompanied by the Cal State LA Brass Ensemble. <laughs> Please be seated. Good afternoon, students, honored family members, and friends. I am Pamela Scott Johnson, the new dean of the College of Natural and Social Sciences. Welcome to the 2017 commencement ceremony. Over the course of your academic career, our faculty, administration, and staff have focused their expertise on your success. They have become your mentors and many of you, for many of you, your colleagues. At this time, I would like to acknowledge our special guest, California State Trustee Silas H. Abrego, Thomas A. Sines, President and General Counsel of MALDEF, George L. Pla, President and CEO of Cordoba Corporation, the Chair of the Academic Senate, Vina Purview, the members of the faculty, emerita faculty, and staff representing the university's six colleges the John F. Kennedy Memorial Library, and the administration for their contributions to our student success. Will these members of the university community please stand and be recognized? Thank you. You may be seated. Now, join me in welcoming the president of California State University, Los Angeles, William A. Cavino. Okay, there it is. Thank you. Good afternoon, class of 2017. Uh -huh. Sounds good, right? This year is the 70th anniversary of Cal State LA. And today, we look back on seven decades of student success and forward to the future that you will create. All commencements through the ages are new beginnings. And we are beginning anew today. But a lot has changed in the last seven years. Cal State LA's first gradu graduating class would not recognize student life today. 
They graduated in 1948, and there were only seven students. Those seven weren't able to follow their friends on Instagram or Snapchat, because there was no Instagram or Snapchat. They didn't even have Facebook or Twitter. I'm sure some of you are on social media right now, right? As I speak, uh, I realize that there were not even smartphones or iPads, and that Siri wasn't even born yet. And how those early students managed to write a paper without Wikipedia is beyond my understanding. Those were different times. But for 70 years, Cal State LA graduates have gone on to do amazing things in spite of and because of the times in which they lived. You will do the same. Your generation will build, imagine, create, design, discover, write, and innovate the next big thing that will change our world. The mind that will create the next Google, Facebook, Amazon, Uber, stem cell technology, or write the next Hamilton is sitting right out here. This month, thousands of graduates across the country are marching into the future. And you will lead the march because you are part of a tradition of exceptional dedication and achievement. Today, you will be a Cal State LA alumnus. You will join the ranks of more than 240,000 alumni of Cal State LA and over 3 million alumni of the California State University system. Our trailblazing alumni include tennis legend Billie Jean King, Congresswoman Maxine Waters, Congresswoman Lucille Roybal Allard, astronaut Samuel T. Durantz, international business leader Isaac Larian, Los Angeles Fire Chief Ralph Tarazas, Director of the John Wayne Airport Barry Rondinella, Adriana Ocampo of NASA, the Gavinia family of Gavinia Coffee, and last but not least, the members of the family that owns Porto's Bakery. Yeah. I always save them for last because I know they're gonna, gonna get a response. Our alumni, all of our alumni are ambassadors. Through the world, you, uh, through the world, we'll see the character, fierce drive, and intellect that define Cal State LA students and you will need all that you've learned and experienced to make your way in the world. You're graduating during a time of great uncertainty. For some of you, changes since November have had a very personal impact, and the future seems unclear. But our commitment to you and the students who will follow you is absolutely clear. As you graduate, I will say again what I've communicated since the election last fall. Cal State LA is a richly diverse community that values and supports all students. You are all golden eagles. You all will soar. You will lead this nation to a bright future. You will use your Cal State LA education, your compassion, and your commitment to engagement, service, and the public good. You will build on the advances of earlier generations. This weekend, 4,708 students will become graduates of Cal State LA. The class of 2017 includes 119 veterans who have served our nation with valor and then returned to earn a degree. Will the veterans in the class of 2017 please stand up and let us recognize you. Thank you all very much for your service. The class of 2017 is the first class to graduate since the university returned to the semester calendar. Through the transition, through changes, 
and challenges, you persevered. You didn't accomplish this goal for yourself alone, of course, and you didn't do it alone. You did it for those you love, and their devotion to you is a big element of your success. With that in mind, can all the mothers and fathers in the house stand, please, and graduates, would you applaud them? Let's add the grandmothers and grandfathers who are with us today. The aunts and uncles. The sisters and brothers. The nieces and nephews. The spouses and children. And all the friends of the class of 2017. Thank you so very much for being here and being a part of this. And while I'm on the theme of it takes a village, right? Uh, I can't do this alone without the help of tremendous faculty, staff, and all of those who have made this a special day and made the road to this point a special day. And a special recognition to my partner and chief advocate of Cal State LA who works with me to do great things on campus, off campus, and throughout the region. Our first lady, Debbie Cavino, who's back there waving to everybody. <laughs> Cal State LA is a rich intellectual community. The College of Natural and Social Sciences is a tremendous element of that community. It is home to the first Chicano Studies Department in America. It is home to the second Pan-African Studies Department in America. Through our minority opportunities in research programs and the Lewis Stokes Alliance for Minority Participation, the College of Natural and Social Sciences is helping to diversify and enrich laboratories in companies and universities across the nation. This year, once again, the National Science Foundation has recognized Cal State LA as the number one university for producing students that go on to earn doctoral degrees in the sciences and technology. You are part of that great recognition. Amalia Castaneda is committed to preserving and telling the stories of our city's communities. At Cal State LA, Amalia majored in history, immersed herself in the world of libraries, museums, archives. Her drive to tell and preserve untold stories has led her to a wealth of experiences. Amalia served as the co-editor of the university's history journal, Perspectives. She's worked in the University Library Special Collections and Archives, where she helped digitize Cal State LA's rich history. Amalia was awarded the Institute of Museum and Library Services Rare Book School Fellowship. She received the CSU's Sally Casanova Pre-Doctoral Scholarship. In 2016, Amalia was the recipient of the CSU Trustees Award for Outstanding Achievement the CSU's highest award for student achievement. Today, Amalia graduates with a Master of Arts in History. In the fall, she'll begin studies at UCLA, where she will work toward a Master of Library and Information Science. Amalia, where are you? There she is, right there. Congratulations. Our university is full of students like Amalia who have a story to tell of inquiry and discovery and life-changing breakthroughs, a story also of setbacks and success. This is what it means to be a graduate of the premier comprehensive university in Los Angeles. This year, Cal State LA earned nationwide acclaim for its success in propelling its graduates into better lives. 
we are ranked number one in the country for the upward mobility of our students. No other university in the nation does a better job of transforming low-income students into high-income earners. That is good news for graduates and for their families. Parents, you can expect to see a return on your investment. So class of 2017, as you move forward into the next chapter of your life, hold fast to the values and principles that brought you to this moment. You are the creators of your destiny. And that realization is the beginning of the best part of your lives. You have persevered and you have succeeded. Congratulations, class of 2017. Now we come to a very special part of the ceremony. The Presidential Medallion is the highest honor that Cal State LA bestows. Today, I am honored to award the Presidential Medallion to our alumnus, George Pla, who is President, Chief Executive Officer, and Founder of the Cordoba Corporation. George, join me up here if you would. George Pla is one of Cal State LA's most distinguished alumni. Mr. Pla earned a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology from Cal State LA in 1972 and a Master of Public Administration from USC in 1974. In 1991, he was honored as Cal State LA's Alumnus of the Year. For more than 30 years, Mr. Pla has led Cordoba Corporation, a top engineering firm that provides services for large public infrastructure projects across the Western United States. Hispanic Business Magazine named Mr. Pla one of the 100 most influential Latinos in the nation. He is a strong supporter of higher education and has served as a Regent Emeritus at Loyola Marymount University presidential associate at the University of Southern California, and co-founder of the USC Latino Alumni, Alumni Association. He is also co-founder of the City Club, a premier private business club in downtown Los Angeles that embraces and reflects the diversity and spirit of the city. So now I present the presidential medallion to George L. Pla in recognition of his outstanding accomplishments, of his service to students and faculty at Cal State LA, and his service to the city of Los Angeles. Presidente con Covino, gracias por este honor. Es un honor para mí estar aquí con ustedes, porque mi historia es la misma historia de todos que están aquí ahora. Yo soy de Jerez, Zacatecas. Y la verdad es que llegué aquí un poco mojado. For those of you that are culturally deprived and don't know a second language, allow me to translate for you. President Covino only told you a part of my story. I am from Jerez, Zacatecas. I'm an undocumented person that arrived here a while ago. I've been very fortunate to attend this great university the first to graduate in my family as well. So here we are in 2017, and my story is your story, an American story that applies to all of us because at the end of the day, we are a nation of immigrants, an American story rich in history of our culture. Asian Americans, Irish Americans, Jewish Americans, Italian Americans, Pacific Islanders, Latinos, and so much more. They all have made a great contribution to our society. I want to uh, introduce my family and tell you what makes up my family. If they would please stand 
and hold up my grandchildren. We are Irish, Mexican, Italian, Puerto Rican, Cuban, Panamanian, and Brazilian. That is one family. So history shows us that our immigrant roots, our diverse cultures, especially in California, has been our strength. California has led the nation in innovation and a rich quality of life. But there's a certain individual in Washington that should spend less time on Twitter and more time reading his history books. I'm asking you graduates to stand. If your family is from another country, please stand with me. I want you to stand if you speak more than one language. I want you to stand if you're the first to graduate from college. I want you to stand if you live within 15 miles of Cal State LA. I want you to stand if you worked while you went to school. So 40 years later, you can be seated. The story is the same. It's an American story. But I'm asking you graduates, be proud of graduating from Cal State LA. This university is not in Palo Alto. It's not in Westwood. It's not by the beach. This university is right here where you live and where you work. This is the largest class of first generation students in America. And my favorite, Cal State LA ranked first in the US. Did I say first? Ranked first in the US of first generation scholars becoming the most successful. So I'm asking you to embrace your different backgrounds. Your rich cultures is a huge advantage. Be proud. Brag about graduating from Cal State LA as I do. You are the future of this great nation. If this barrio boy can stand before you today accepting this great award, God only knows what you will be doing in the future. But as you do great things, I want to remind you of two things. Give back to this university and give back to the community. In conclusion, I leave you with two of my favorite quotes from two leaders of our time. The first, Winston Churchill, who gave the shortest commencement speech in the history. And he said, don't give up. Don't give up, don't give up. And the second, a man that I was honored to know, a Nobel Prize winner, Cesar Chavez said, si se puede, si se puede, si se puede. Thank you. Now we come to another special part of today's commencement. On the recommendation of the CSU Board of Trustees, Thomas A. Sines has been selected to receive an honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Trustee Silas H. Abrego, a member of the California State University Board of Trustees, will now read the citation. Trustee Abrego. Thank you, Dr. Corino. Buenas tardes, good afternoon, y felicidades a todos. Tomas Sáenz is a distinguished civil rights attorney and longtime champion for diversity and social justice. Mr. Sáenz is the president and general counsel for MELDEV, the Mexican-American Legal Defense and Educational Fund. He has been a tireless advocate for our nation's Latino and immigrant communities and has strived to ensure educational opportunities for all Americans. Mr. Science embodies California State University Los Angeles mission 
of engagement, service, and the public good. Mr. Science attended public schools in neighborhoods served by the university, and he graduated summa cum <laughs> he graduated summa cum laude from Yale University. He earned a Juris Doctor from Yale Law School. Mr. Science was leader in the successful legal challenge to California's 1994 divisive Proposition 187, which sought to deny public benefits to undocumented immigrants, but, but was ruled unconstitutional. Mr. Science also served as Maldives' lead counsel in two court challenges to California's Proposition 227, an English-only education initiative. He has litigated numerous other civil rights cases in the areas of immigrants' rights, education, employment, and voting rights. Throughout his accomplished career, Mr. Science has promoted educational success for youth. His early support of dreamers, immigrants who came to the United States as children was instrumental for these students, many of them who attend schools in the California State University system. Mr. Science has been a recipient of many awards and has earned recognition for his litigation skills and passion for civil rights. He was selected as one of the Hispanic Business Magazine's 100 top influentials. He received the Professional Achievement Award from the Mexican American Bar Foundation and the National Hispanic Bar Association presented him with the Oatley Award which recognized his public service on behalf of Mexican-American communities. In recognition of his distinguished career, his contributions to social justice, and his role as an advocate for educational opportunity, the Board of Trustees of the California State University and California State University Los Angeles are proud to confer upon Tomas A. Science the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Bien merecido, Tomás. So, Mr. Sines, by the authority vested in me, I confer upon you our highest honor, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. It is an ancient custom to invest those who receive academic degrees with hoods that designate the degree bestowed. We present this hood to Thomas A. Sines. Ah, you got it. Thank you, Trustee Abrego, President Covino. It is indeed a great honor to be among this assemblage of graduates. And congratulations to the class of 2017. I too want to congratulate not only you, but the parents, spouses, children, close friends and other family who have supported you in your accomplishments. As Mr. Pla has already pointed out, and as this important message in front of me demonstrates, you are representatives of an America comprised of immigrants, comprised of immigrant family members, comprised of supporters of immigrants. And as you have come to today, you have much work to do. Each of you graduates has come to this point with significant formative experiences, yielding in each of you great wisdom. With that acquired wisdom, I feel I have little to add today. I simply ask that each of you graduates live each day of your postgraduate careers with appropriate audacity. 
What do I mean by appropriate audacity? I mean not only that you pursue with vigor your ambitions, not only for yourselves and your families, but to change our nation and our world for the better. But I also mean with appropriate audacity that you begin tomorrow and pursue every day committed to speaking your truth acquired through your education and experience and speaking on behalf of your community. You all know that you graduate in interesting and challenging times. In each of your minds, you know what particularly challenges you. But I would note that for the second time in less than 20 years, we have a president who did not win the most votes of the candidates in his election. We have a politics led by an administration that challenges, indeed, often seeks to reverse our very history as an immigrant nation. We have leaders who rely on alternative facts, denying the consensus of science, social science, and verifiable history in their determination to pursue policies inconsistent with our own history as a people. But you also graduate at a time of continuing progress in our nation's great history of increased inclusion and integration. Our nation has progressed far beyond what it was when this institution was founded 70 years ago in living up to its creeds, its principles of inclusion of all. When I talk about appropriate audacity in a prior generation, it might have been characterized as speaking truth to power. But that important adage seems to apply best when you are on the outside and making demands of those on the inside. And while there is still an appropriate place, place and a frequent need for such activity, your education, your achievements mean that each of you will frequently find yourselves on the inside. Inside of corporations, nonprofit agencies, government agencies, and even universities in meetings with the powerful, in conventions of decision makers, in symposiums of policy deciders. And you will find yourself sitting inside in these meetings, and you will realize that the conclusions being reached by one leader or a group of leaders, or perhaps the entire group besides yourself, are in your view misinformed incompletely informed, and perhaps wrong. You will understand that your perspective, based on your education, your lived experience, and that of your families, is much needed. You may conclude that your perspective is needed in part because you will find you are one of the few, or perhaps the only, person in the meeting, convention, or symposium of your race, of your ethnicity, of your gender, of your religion. You may find that you are the only immigrant in the room, the only gay, lesbian, or transgender person in the room, the only disabled person in the room, the only working class individual in the room. Whatever element of your identity that is most critical to you, you may find it underrepresented or unrepresented outside of yourself in a meeting, symposium, or convention. And you will find that despite what you have learned over the years, despite how much you may have strived for inclusion, that there will be a part of you in that situation that will feel daunted, afraid, 
perhaps even intimidated about expressing your perspective. This may especially be the case if you have been told, explicitly or implicitly, the tradition says that the new person in the room remains silent. You may fear that if you speak out in that room as an insider, you will be ignored, called too bold, called too audacious. I note that you are equally likely to find when you speak your perspective that you will be thanked, that you will be engaged, that you will be respective. But in the moment, your fear will prevent you from realizing that. I urge you to embrace the audacity, to voice your view, to articulate your perspective, to overcome the fear and the intimidation that you may feel in the moment as the only person of your identity in the room. How will you do that? I ask each of the graduates to reflect, now or perhaps as your name is called later in the program, on this tremendous gathering today, in this stadium, on your behalf, family members, community, supporting each and every one of you as you reach this tremendous accomplishment. I will tell you a quick story. A little over a year ago, after almost a quarter century as a lawyer, I had my first opportunity to argue before the United States Supreme Court in a case called United States versus Texas, where the state of Texas and 25 other states sought to block President Obama's initiatives of deferred action for parents of Americans and deferred action for childhood arrivals. I was to argue on behalf of three brave Texas women who would be eligible for DAPA. I knew walking into the Supreme Court building a huge marble edifice across from the Capitol that of the four lawyers arguing in the case, I would be the only person of color, the only Latino presenting argument. I was daunted. I was scared. As I walked in with my colleague and we waited in the attorney's lounge, and the attorney's lounge became more crowded with those watching and participating in the argument, I realized in that lounge that I and my colleague were the only two Latinos in the room. But as I approached the podium to argue before those eight justices, I was emboldened, strengthened by knowing that outside the courthouse that day, accumulating over the days before were thousands of people, immigrants and their supporters, seeking to urge the Supreme Court to rule correctly in United States versus Texas. I had in my mind those crowds of folks outside the building as I stepped and argued before the judges. Now you will find that it is rare that you will have such an immediately present inspiration when you face those fears and that intimidation. But in those moments of doubt in the future, I ask that each of you think of today. Think of the folks here to support you today and understand that we are here not just to congratulate and wish you well, but to kindly and gently reinforce our expectation that each one of you will speak for us, will speak for this community. This is what I say in asking you to live your postgraduate lives with appropriate audacity. Overcome the fears of being the only one and speak your perspective and your truth, backed by your knowledge, backed by real history and real fact, to those with whom you come in contact. And when you live with appropriate audacity, you will make us proud, prouder even than today. And you will, more importantly, contribute to the necessary change and further progress of our nation. Lead your lives with appropriate audacity and make us proud. Congratulations again to the class of 2017.
Thank you, Mr. Signs. Among the students earning baccalaureate degrees are those who will graduate with academic honors. Dr. Nancy McQueen, Associate Dean of the College of Natural and Social Sciences, will acknowledge these students. Dr. McQueen. Good afternoon. The university grants the baccalaureate degree with Latin designations of summa cum laude, magna cum laude, or cum laude to students who have completed at least 45 units in residence and attained a grade point average that ranks them within the top 10% of their college. These students wear gold braids draped on their black gowns to mark their outstanding academic accomplishments. Will the candidates for graduation with honors please rise and be recognized? Please be seated. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the Chief Academic Officer of the University, Dr. Lynn Mahoney, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Mahoney. Good afternoon. President Covino, I present to you the candidates for degrees in the College of Natural and Social Sciences. They have met all their requirements, of the requirements for their respective degrees, and are recommended by the university faculty who taught them. The recipients for the Master of Arts and the Master of Science from the College of Natural and Social Sciences will now be hooded and then presented on stage. Master of Arts, History. Joanne Medrano. Jessica Nicole De La O. Catherine Elizabeth Mishler. Brenda Janet Torresillas. Amanda Virginia Lynn Godlove. Lisa Joy Raffetti. Jason Newton. Amalia Castañeda. Edgar Salinas. Ricky Darnell McKenzie. Michelle Dayi Vasquez Reese. Master of Arts, Latin American Studies. 
Maria Teresa Borden. Mark Anthony Kraus. Diana Gloria Lopez. Julio Munguia. Norma Lilia Castillo. Cassandra Yvette Salcido. Master of Arts, Mexican American Studies. Megan Francis Pennings. Lina Francisca Becerra. Master of Arts, Political Science. Joseph Robert Andrade. Lilith Ocel Rubí Gutierrez. Jesus Peralta Narvaez. Master of Arts, Sociology. Johnny Sombrano. Jonathan Davis. Amy Piliposian. Crystal Lee Moody. Lacey Marie Sloan. Arwen Rain Jordan Zimmerman. Jennifer Denise Machua. Penelope Anais Mendez. Zuntorn Bunemparken. Cindy Azulai Flores. Master of Science, Public Administration. Madonna Marie Waters. Master of Public Administration, Public Administration. Amal Alaudi. Tara Tometria Herman. May Kim Duong. Maria Luisa Ansaldo. Preston Brandon. Myra Orozco. Scott Alexander Frazier. Brian Alberto Lopez. Mario Arellano. Adan Duarte Jr. Lauren Franklin. Alisa Viola Perez.
Vivian Lynette Enriquez. Michelle Yvonne Vega. Christina Ballian. Daisy Maricela Guardado. Tuba Sevutekin. Jessica Yvette Vasquez Gomez. Yanis Roxanne Camacho Argueta. Jorge Pelayo. And Rodolfo Campos. Is the mic on? Yes. Thank you. Congratulations. The traditional moving of the tassel is a special moment in the commencement ceremony. After all degrees are conferred, President Covino will lead the candidates in the moving of the tassel. The candidates for the baccalaureate degree will now be presented on stage. Bachelor of Arts, Pan-African Studies. Amber Murray Cole. Velvet Miguel Barrera. Julio Cesar Martinez. Lisette Castillo. Tramisha DeJoy Brown. Danielle Marche Lee. Romeo Mentor. Danera Nathan. Victoria Jalake Clay. Bachelor of Arts, Asian and Asian American Studies. Wilson Vu Chong Tran. Celeste Carolina Cruz. Michelle Moa. Bachelor of Arts, History. Michael Martinez. Mario A. Urbina. Celeste Carrasco. Thomas Brown. Juan Arturo Acevedo. Andrew Barajas. Mirin Sholu. Rene Muñoz. Alejandra Guadalupe Manzo. Jessica Macias. Joshua Elias Gomez. Harrison Martin Sandoval. Cynthia Magali Loera. 
Amanda Elizabeth Lara. Rosa Irene Velasquez. Vanessa Walid Saikali. Nancy Stephanie Escalante. Samuel Joseph Aguilar. Teresa Munoz. Mauricio Emanuel Lopez. Ivan Valle. Marina Vitalvena Rotaru. Serene Cruz. Diana Perez. Rosa Maria Mazon. Michelle Cristina Borrayo. Trevor Burton Barnes. Jimmy Casillas. John E. Medina. Ernesto Amesquita. Stuart Anthony Marcus Trapani. Hugo Ernesto Calderon. Carlos Anthony Irajita. Bachelor of Arts, Latin American Studies. Sofia Stephanie Rodriguez Lares. Gladys Garcia. Nancy Benitez. Paula Sofia Ayala Benavides. Kali Eby. Rodolfo Basurto Jr. Bachelor of Arts, Mexican American Studies. Kiara Lezeth Morales. Isaura Damaris Parra. Milagros Ada Casadilla. Bachelor of Arts, Political, Political Science. Annabelle Cuevas. Risa Rianik Appling. John Paul Martinez. Albert Charco Jr. Neil Vega. Daisy Rojas. Erica Michelle Katika. Abdulaziz Mahmoud Kushem. Devon Lamar Allen. Vanessa Nicole Contreras. Michael David Tarrin. Andrew Elijah Fausto. Daisy Clara Delgado. Judith Elizabeth Garcia. Jonathan Garrett Rodriguez. Brandy Tobar. William Frankes. Ivan Reynaldo Anguiano. David Adrian Mandujano. Ani Nalbandian.
Andrea Dominguez. Ana Laura Rosas. Erica Monique Fazon. Jonathan Enrique Lambour. Natalia Carolina Gonzalez Esparza. Leova Salian. Joseph Paul Rodriguez. Ganek Blanquette. Abraham Yamane. Ariel Danielle Steimer Berrigan. Ariani Torres Velasquez. Heidi Gonzalez. Omar Carbajal. Anthony Albert Ruiz. Itzel Abigail Cortez. Sofia Lopez. Manuel Antonio Rodriguez. Joseph Paul Egan II. Alyssa Mariah Robles. Haley Monique Gallo. Jocelyn Sarai Argueta. Rolando Chavez Carranza. Jose Guadalupe Perez Reyes. Yvonne Marie Panetto. Andy Luis Figueredo. Tanya Sanchez. Fatima Marie Barajas. Jocelyn Magali Saldana. Ruby Elizabeth Fernandez. Nicole Eve McHugh. Karina Zamora. Sonia Alexa Gallen. Rogelio Gandara. Alicia Gabrielle Finley. Zyra Lizette Guevara. Daisy Munoz. Vard Camilia Tavanian. Alisa Marie Eisenman. Stephanie Michelle Cruz. Daniel Joseph Samudio. Charo Jane Hernandez. Elizabeth P. Alvarez. Alexis Rose Ramsey. Daisy Castaneda. Carlos Gonzalez. Victor Manuel Dominguez. Galinda Villegas. Bachelor of Arts Sociology. Karina D. Solis. Alexandria Megumi Garcia. Celine Christina Azarian. Brenda Lizenia Honorato Rodriguez. Virginia Martinez. 
Beatriz Alejandra Valencia Rodríguez. Pedro Larios. Jesús Serrano. Chris Ng. Ana G. Reyes. Iris Salina Diaz. Gabino Mojarro Jr. Alejandro Hernandez. Laura Soto. Georgina Teresa Diaz. Jennifer Flores. Ashley Justine Sines. Mireya Macias. Jocelyn Adendi Aguilar Hernandez. Kaylee Merari Roldan. Anna Iris Angelina Morales. Daniel Perales. Gladys Martinez Perez. Vanessa D. Vera. Stephanie Alejandra Villegas. Frederick Francisco Orantes. Victor Manuel Aguayo Herrera. Griselda Diaz. Stacy Atana Sulis. Sonia Alexa Galan. Mario Anthony Ayala. Jessica Marie Ortiz. Denise Lopez. Jessica Lucia Cortez. Luis Eduardo Cervantes. Arthur Alvarez. Oscar Romo Munoz. Catherine Mary Flores. Bridget Nadine Jimenez. Anthony Jimenez. Jose Manuel Rosas. Melissa Marquez. Myra Alexandria Soto. Selena Renee Lee. Karen Carillo. Andrea Rincones. Elton A. Charlene Johnson. Alicia Josefina Mejia. Lily Sardaneta. Mary Garibian. Cy Cummings Tory. Jewel Cherie Foster. Jasmine Esmeralda Mendoza. Adrian Rodriguez. Michelle Ordaz. Nadia Selene Arreola Miranda. Janet Orejel Rios. Brenda Natalie Mejia. Debbie Stephanie Castaneda. Leslie M. Ocampo. Vanessa Campos. Erica Perez. Dominique Raquel Jimenez. 
Sona Sultanian. Henry Estardo Teo Garcia. Kiana Marie Williams. Alexis Renee Williams. Monica Lisa Perez. Marissa Gabriela Vallejo. Alisa Nicole Subia. Melissa Reese. Marion Michelle Sanchez. Cindy Jacqueline Barrera. Leslie A. Gonzalez. Stacy Gabriella Newton. Jennifer Genevieve Osejo. Rosa Maria Munoz. Tysiona Shield. Cassandra Denise Herrera. Brittany Latalian Johnson. Rebecca Martinez. Cynthia Jeanette Navarro. Stacy Joanna Martinez. Vanessa Enos. Daniel Ernesto Pacheco. Johnny Teresa Amaya. Lupe Corona Ayon. Jennifer Arsate. Janet Ramos. Jasmine Marie Gaitan. Zyla Quash. Angeline Elise Morales. Desiree Verde. Barbara Patricia Bucio. Juan Jose Gonzalez. Eileen Vasquez. Mariana Salceda. Jasmine Navarro. Elizabeth Reynoso. Cindy Duenas. Lorena Carmen Guerrero Santiago. Daisy Alvarez. Gabriela Novello. Allison Rose Leos. Rosa Miriam Della Porta. Jimmy Marita. James Cleats Haynes. Irene Maribel Castro. Ludres Estefania Selmeron. Jessica Serene Medicani. Shelby Brianna Nieto. Andrew Velasquez. Ryan Alexander Dorsey. Andrew Aaron Lowe. Monica Prara Montiel. Graciela Mendez. Erica Alejandra Menenses. Yvonne Antonio. Maria Trujillo. 
Carl Alexander Braxton. Serena Susie Turner Sissian. Steven Van Chinchilla. Michael Steven Howard. Dylan Eugene Morrill. Jennifer Alatore. Elise Jessica Schwartz. Destiny Monique Martinez. Sonia Lynn. Janelle Lynn Razo. Yadira Lisette Santos. Christina Michelle Gonzalez. Angelica Janet Franco. Myra Mejia. Jessica Christine Michel. Jennifer Jaylen Ortega. Amber Franco. Stevie Lee Ramirez. Elizabeth Ann Olguin. David Morales. Stephanie Michelle Cano. Jessica Ann Reese. Jesse James Godinez. Augustine Richard Cabrera. Eric Enrique Vargas. Luis Rojas. Vanessa Guarico. Dulce Idalia Padilla. Maria Alejandra Perez. Adriana Cervantes. Erica, Erica Victoria Rentería. Marlene Pai San Pedro. Keisha Madison. Vanessa Vanelli Flores. Gloria Elena Zavaleta. Sherry Ann Roscoe. Liliana Pacheco. Imelda Andrade Belmonte. Maria Guadalupe Romero. Diane Paez. Stephanie Acosta. Elia Jasmine Chavez. Joanne Elizabeth Perez. Nareen Sharian. Lorena Rodriguez. Edith Hortensia Carillo. Guadalupe Lomeli. Claire Beverly Ordanez. Stephanie Felix. Latanya Parker. Sarah Trang and Catherine Nguyen. Sonia Esperanza Jimenez. Monica Maribel Alarcón. 
with Gladys Vasquez. Brittany Renee Bolton. Janice Isidora Daldron. Elizabeth Valdivia. Mimi Lee. Marcos Arevalo. Verenice Vasquez. Chelsea Campos. Jasmine Yanez. Jose Alberto Lizaola. Ariana Nicole Eves. Helen Joy Camaya Felizardo. Marisol Corona. Sandra Mesa. Anthony Greg Parabot. Shannon Kathleen Willis. Joshua Ting Shaw. Teresa Marie Buenavente Nierva. Alexander Daniel Del Rosario. Oscar Eduardo Silva. Desiree Danielle Soto. Adriana Elizabeth Guerrero. Samantha Elizabeth Orangedorf. Nancy Duenas Diaz. Christian Michelle Delgado. Lydia Elizabeth Paz. Rebecca Sarai Herrera. Maricela Flores. Itzel Del Carmen Suarez. Jaime Chavez. Anthony Carino. Fabiola Cervantes. Elkin Vincent Navarro. Isabel Mendoza. Jessica Ignacia Lagunas. Wei Ying Liao. Diana Laura Solis. Monica Sandoval Bustamante. Jacqueline Stephanie Valencia. Jessica Paulina Buenrostro. Monica Marie Villarreal. April Ramirez. Samantha Michelle Sanchez. Elisa Gabriela Balmori Espinosa. Geraldo Medrano. Kiona Denise Jackson. Adrian Reveles. Fernando Garcia. Yabin Uriel Almontes. Noeli Parga. Jennifer Michelle Gonzalez. Christina Marie De Leon. Anthony Bobadilla. Amanda Amy Escarcega. 
Sabrina Gonzalez. Yuni Amarani Vela Cervantes. Angela Maria Solorio. Lorena Garrido. Janet Juarez. Jennifer Adriana Torres. Fabiola Suhi Valles. Iris Marie Licardo. Mariana Nava. Denise Lopez. Victoria Cruz. Sarah Nicole Mineros. Andrew Patrick Worcester. Natalie Ibarra. Crystal Garibay. Kevin Roberto Galván. Jorge López. Priscilla Marie Cortez. Danny Spencer Mernanon. Kevin Scott Cuevas. Yesenia Barajas. Berta I. Ceron. Artinet Ketchupman. Desiree Arcelia Landeros. Jasmine Richardson. Caitlin Crystal Osagi. Jocelyn Diaz. Stephanie Tovar. Eliana Ramirez. Robin Gail Robinson. Kenneth Deshaun Strickland. Jasmine Marie Briones. Brittany Magdalena Estrada. Maria Cristina Salguero. Denise Alexandria Ramiro. Parul Berry. Steven Gerardo Duran. Karina Jimenez. Vanessa Lisbeth Vasquez. Heather Michelle Santos Coy. Brenda Jaimez. Joanna Bado. Stephanie Ardil. Norelvi Guadalupe Villacorta. Aggie Ambrosio. Jamie Edith Garcia. Javier Ernesto Esquivias. Lisette Hernandez. Damarius Ludres Flores Resendez. Donna Elizabeth Camacho. 
Jose Antonio Rios. Shanisha Alicia Franklin. Eileen Denise Henriquez. Wilmer Felix Vergara. Vanessa Elise Duran. Michael Arthur Irigoyen. Luis Manuel Estrada Jr. Felix Sai. Nazarene Jasari. Dania Sawad Jezri. Bernice Rios. Zachary Lee Spidel. Brandy Jeanette Gangora. Adriana Hernandez. Shaniqua Archie. Francisco Javier Vargas Gutierrez. Jenny Natsirova. Jessica Lorena Gomez Navarro. Christina Michelle Valdez. Benjamin Ying Jun Hong. Rosa Maria Avilar. Jordan Alexandria Haynes. Bianca Nicolette Alvarado. Cristina del Rosario Vasquez. Ramiro Maldonado. Oscar Ivan Heredia Rendon. Maricela Cervantes. Tania Genesis Lopez. Anahid Kayaks. Javier Torres Jr. Romel Miranda. Nicholas Edward Fernandez. Pisuri Angeles. Francis Perez. Rosa Gloria Vargas. Jennifer Montañez. David Francis Ebner. Gina Karima Agopian. April Vasquez. Lisette Lopez. Taro Mario Fisky Sabalaga. Melissa Kimberly Huynh. Vanessa Roxanne Garcia. Casey Jasmine Ramirez. Jessica Jeanette Valenzuela. Alina Jasmine Serna. And Amber Marie Williams. All right, that was the dress rehearsal. Now we're going to do it one more time. No, no, no. Will the candidates for master's degrees please rise for the conferral of degrees?
Candidates, by the authority vested in me by the State of California and by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree for which you qualify with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Congratulations. All right, master's degree holders, you can sit, and I'd like the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees to please rise. <laughs> by the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the baccalaureate degree for which you qualify with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Now, move the tassel from the right to the left. That's it. Let me have the entire class, master's and bachelor's degrees, please stand. You are now all proud alumni of Cal State LA. Congratulations, class of 2017. I would like to thank all of the university staff, faculty, students, and volunteers involved in organizing the 2017 commencement ceremony and acknowledge the members of the Honors Convocation and Commencement Advisory Committees. At this time, the university hymn will be performed by Cal State Los Angeles student Valerie Espinosa, who will be accompanied by the California State Los Angeles Brass Band. The lyrics can be found in your program. Please stand. <laughs> 